I first really, I don't know if it's really, I guess, I first understood that I had depression about eight years ago, but I don't think I really accepted it. And I think a lot of what I need to do is keeping up appearances that I'm not depressed. It's not that bad. Just get over it. Be happy. But that was, um, was so much of what I was doing. And it's only when I shed that that I could really come to terms with what this depression is. I mean, today's not as bad a day as most days, but I'm sitting at a beautiful spot here at Beaver Lake, and I'm still looking out, and I'm going, meh. And life is just sort of meh. I have a dinner with my boys. Ben's making it, and I'm going, yeah, I'll go there. I'll do it, because I have to do it. But it's still, meh. The depression is still, even though I don't want it to be, often for me, it's keeping up appearances. And I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to be keeping up appearances. It's part of the reason for these videos is so that I'm actually being honest about who I am and what's going on within me. It's This also leads to another thing is depression takes up a lot of time every day. Depression sucks up easily uh, four to eight hours of my waking hours. And luckily I have extra waking hours because depression often keep, keeps me awake as well. So I have extra hours in the day. But there's just moments where you suddenly get to something and you're stuck and your mind just halts and it takes forever to do it. You have to build up the energy to do whatever it is. And it can be the simplest thing. It can be the simplest thing of picking up the laundry and bringing it downstairs. Or it can be a task of writing a major report. It doesn't matter what the actual thing is. It's the depression can just stop you from doing things and you can sit there and you can play a stupid game in your phone or your computer and several hours later it disappears. So yes, a lot of my time during the day gets sucked up by the depression, even though I don't want it to. I currently think of it as my downtime, um, as a way to try and manage my overall life in the depression. I'm going, okay, I need times to recharge my energy. I'm not going to fight my depression and demand that I do something right now. I'm just going to take a break and wait for this, my mood, my body, my everything to change, and then I can go on with it. But still, it means that in an average day, day, a lot of time is taken up with um, the depression. One way that I've often made a productive use of that time, and I'm trying to avoid making productive use of the time, as in I'm beating myself up because I'm not productive, um, but I have often, as a productive way, is cooked. Cooking is something I can do without thinking, and it's, meditative is the wrong word, but it's just sort of a nice, it's a task that I can start. I know what I'm doing, I know where I'm going, and I know I'll produce something at the end of it in a, you know, in an hour to two hour time frame that's a very good meal that the people I make it for will really enjoy it. Yes, I'm actually a pretty good cook, as uh, most people who know me um, will, will attest to. But for me, um, the cooking is a depression management thing, a management of when my energy is down, when I'm, when I'm not losing the ability to do other stuff, so I'm actually still doing something. Now ask me to empty the dishwasher at the same time, <laughs> that becomes a hard one. So I'm trying to live in life on the basis that what I have is realistically um, 10 productive hours per day, ideally eight hours of sleep, and then the rest of the time will be lost to my depression. I'm giving over and accepting the fact that it could be six hours a day that lost to depression and going, okay. I'm surrendering that quarter of the day because to fight against it is not going to move this any further forward. Maybe someday I can reduce that. Maybe someday I'll be able to cope with it better. Maybe someday I'll figure out how to be in that the more blasé, dead mood and, and be doing something else. I don't know. I mean, watching television or, or movies works really well. Um, maybe even reading a book sort of thing that works well. But... Right now, I've come to terms with my life is that um, one third is for sleeping, ten hours is for um, being productive in some way, shape, or form, and that includes going for a walk and getting exercise. And six hours give over to the depression. It means that I don't set myself unrealistic goals, though I still do, even though I don't want to. I still do. I set myself more realistic goals because of this. So. If one thing that I would like to change with the depression is just how many hours a day it sucks out of me. But right now, I'm just coming to terms with the fact that one quarter of my time is lost to the depression. Thanks a lot.